You know, I was um, sitting there watching a video of uh, Rebecca Lynn Pope. And, um, you know, she said a mouthful again about the video she did. I forgot what the video is called. You should check her channel out. Um, she talked about how these women are just once again how delusional they are and how they follow the advice of single people. And these single people ain't married themselves. And it just goes to show you that um, <clears throat> that once again that black women are so delusional they just they just don't get it. So black for black men out there, save yourselves, man. Don't don't even bother um, dating a woman, dating a black woman that don't give a rat's ass about you. This is why that these black women. Um, they come dead last when it comes to the mating market. Nobody's going to want someone that's going to give them a hard time. Matter of fact, there was a situation where, uh, what was it, Joe Scott that just got divorced. Mary J. Blige. And I was also watching a video within a few seconds of Ron Mills talking about how um, that there are always going to be dating coaches in the black community. I think slowly but surely that's dwindling because I think that uh, Obsidian has debunked that. Well, we'll see how the dating coach uh, progress in the black in the black community, but I just don't see it anymore. A lot of black men, smart ones that are taking notes, are realizing that these black women ain't worth ain't worth pursuing. Now you got this, uh, what was it? This organization called uh, Sisters Overcoming Stigma. And we all know what that organization is about. It's about, you know, shutting up the black man. They don't care about improving black women and caring about their community. All they care about is destroying it. That's all they care about. When you take a look at their actions, their actions speak louder than their words. And this SOS, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a white liberal came out there and wanted to bankroll that, uh, that organization. Sure, you raised, what, $9,000? That's an accomplishment they did. Black women have no problem spending money to destroy a black man. They have no problem with this. Excuse me. This is why that, you know, you can't not deal with the fact that a lot of the that a lot of black women are dead last when it comes to dating. The open mating market. You know what I mean? So that's what it boils down to. I've accepted the fact a long time ago that even though that there's other women that desire me, I still have to get myself together. I mean, I get it to the point. And like I said, you know, these North American black females, they just want, they just want to shut up a black man because they don't want to look themselves in the mirror. And Obsidian has said this. I mean, you want to end this gender war? It's simple. You know, if black women can go out there and admit their wrongs and their dysfunctional nature, this gender will be over with. But unfortunately, it's going to still be here. Because you're going to see a lot of black women denying, denying, denying. And you got a good percentage of black women that are just overweight. 
They're just fat. That's just all there is to it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> they can't deny this for one second. So, to my brothers out there that are ones that are classic brothers, like I said, they date these thug Negroes and these other Negroes, like your Amber Rose, these dumbass monkeys. You got to ask yourself, who's pipping who here? Because right now, Amber Rose is already, is already pipping. Uh, who was this uh, the guy's name? Relief Cleaver, whatever his name is, the, the one rapper. She's pipping him and 21 Savage. Just because that woman is, is, is uh, having sex with you and giving you a blowjob, that don't mean that she's pimping you. She'll do that with no problem. Because these women have no problem using the system against you. And shout out to Black Ram. And like I said, you know, check out that book, um, The Manipulated Man by Esther Filardi. I mean, she goes into great details in terms of what this woman is all about. Like I said, it's not hatred towards women. It's more of understanding who they really are. And like I said, if you plan on dealing with a woman, understand what you're getting yourself into. Because there's two ways probably out of it. Not paying child, well, paying alimony and child support, you probably have to still deal with, but not getting her pregnant, using the rubber, or getting a bisectomy. Because it's not just the woman only. You also have to deal with the system. Like I said, when I mentioned Amber Rose, Amber Rose is a calculating female. She knew exactly what she was doing. She went from Kanye to Rich Rikleefa and to this 21 Savage. And I can't say that Kanye was winning. But Amber Rose knew exactly what she was doing. So don't let these strippers fool you. With that, this is Carl Mitchell signing off.